What's up, guys? Celtics beat the Raptors, win 12 in a row now, uh, 6 and 1 at home. Home games are looking like almost locks. No Kyrie Irving, no problem. And the Raptors actually shot the lights out 46% from the field, 42% from three, 87% on high volume of three pointers. Did not matter, uh, free throws, did not matter. Celtics getting better every single game. We knew that Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown had to step up for this team to be really successful this year in the absence of Gordon Hayward. We are seeing them absolutely step up. Uh, Jalen Brown with 18 points, Jason Tatum with 13 points, and he was extremely clutch in the fourth quarter. Al Horford was the player of the game coming back from injury. No ill side effects from that uh, possible concussion. Eight for nine from the field and uh, extremely efficient and the best player in this game. And uh, Marcus Smart filling in very ably for... Kyrie Irving. As I've said for a while, he's a top 20 point guard, and he actually was starting as a rookie over Isaiah Thomas for the Celtics, and the team was just as good winning around 50 game pace as the Celtics were ever since then when um, Isaiah Thomas was starting. And uh, Terry Rozier, I've been saying he, since before the season started, he's a top 30 point guard and rising. By now, he may be 25, top 25 or top 20, and uh, 16 points off the bench, extremely clutch, and uh, carrying that weight with uh, Kyrie Irving out of the game. Celtics shot 40% from the field, 38%, 39% from three, and uh, just got it done with extreme poise. Rookies, young guys, all playing super clutch and uh, extremely comfortable and uh, locking down on defense when it counted. Daniel Tice, key contributor, and uh, even though he was negative six down the stretch, he was grabbing clutch rebounds like crazy, blocking shots, had a clutch tip in as well. So between Tyson, Aaron Baines, guys, uh, we have some really, really good guys. Marcus Moore is a bit of an off game, but you see he can get to the free throw line really, really well. And as long as he keeps focusing on that, uh, he's going to be a big time impact player for us. So extreme depth on this roster. Uh, anybody gets injured, it doesn't matter. Everybody else steps up. Uh, and, it, you know, uh, Brad Stevens is getting most uh, all of the credit. But the fact is that Danny Ainge is the uh, executive of the year this year, whether their league realizes it or not, not, whether they want to give Brad Stevens all the credit or not. The fact is Danny Ainge, the best GM in the league. And, you know, it's one thing for a coach to get guys to be playing all well and professional and smooth and mature. But most of that comes down to scouting and getting the right guys on the roster who can be mature, professional, disciplined, uh, highly skilled and um, all of that stuff. So Danny Ainge, people are going to start talking about it. They're going to be forced to start talking about it. Nobody wanted to be talking about the Celtics being this good. Nobody wanted that. They wanted to believe that Kyrie Irving was a head case who uh, couldn't want, realize how wonderful LeBron is, like all the other LeBron sexuals around the NBA landscape wanted to believe, right? They wanted to believe that, oh, the Cavs were just a total lock to get back to the finals. And LeBron is just so amazing. And Kyrie Irving uh, couldn't do anything without LeBron. Now we're seeing that uh, the, the Cavs, a very different team, a worse team without Kyrie Irving, most overrated team in the NBA, as I said in the preseason. And uh, I was correct about that. And Kyrie Irving, you know, he's a great player, but the Celtics, <laughs> so much talent on the roster, we can even win without him. So we're just going to be even better with him. So uh, with the number one defense, guys, I think you're starting to see, whether you want to admit it or not, that Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are both about as good as Gordon Hayward. And maybe by the end of the season, they're both probably going to be better than Gordon Hayward. And part of the reason this um, defense is number one is because with Jason Tatum instead of Gordon Hayward, we have a guy with an eight foot ten standing reach rather than an eight foot seven standing reach. So Gordon Hayward, about an inch or two shorter than Jason Tatum and uh you know his standing reach he just his wingspan just really isn't there we're seeing Jason Tatum's wingspan make a difference all over the court especially defense but also offensively being able to get off these um these layups and these shots that Gordon Hayward could never get off and in addition Jason Tatum has just as good a pull-up game with a jump shot as Gordon Hayward does so number one defense in the league and it comes down to length especially with Marcus Smart starting at six foot four and his 6'10 wingspan. J Jalen Brown with a 6'7", 225-pound frame with a 7-foot wingspan. Jason Tatum with a 6'9 height and the 6'11", uh, 7-foot wingspan and the 8'10 standing reach. So incredible length. That's what it comes down to. You might have liked Avery Bradley, Isaiah Thomas, and Jay Crowder, but uh, Isaiah Thomas, Avery Bradley, way too small. You're seeing Jalen Brown instead of Avery Bradley. Jalen Brown can guard one through four instead of Avery Bradley being able to guard one through two. Makes a huge difference. 
Jason Tatum much more length than Albert for, than uh, Gordon Hayward, as I already said. But this team, guys, not only are we going to be the number one seed in the East, like I said in the preseason, not only are we going to have the best record in the East, not only are we going to get to the finals, guys, but we are going to give the Warriors a real run for their money because everyone might stick to the stick stick to their story that the Warriors are the best team in the league right now and they might even stick to the story that the uh, Cavaliers are the second best team in the league but the Celtics I believe are going to get to the finals Gordon Hayward is going to be a part of the team when that happens he's going to be playing coming off the bench and uh, the Celtics are going to be as good or better than the Warriors by the time the regular season ends and especially by the time the final starts guys Uh, instead of Jay Crowder or even Gordon Hayward trying to guard Kevin Durant. We now have Jason Tatum in that role, right? Much more length and uh, much and a better defender than Gordon Hayward. Much better defender than Gordon Hayward. And probably a better defender than even Jay Crowder because of that uh, ridiculous length advantage that Tatum has over Jay Crowder. And then with uh, Jalen Brown, much better able to uh, guard Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. And there's no more 6'9", Isaiah Thomas, trying to guard 6'7", Clay Thompson, guys. It's a totally different ball game. People, people are going to be slow to realize it, in large part because they didn't believe the Celtics were going to be this good. They still don't want to believe they're going to be the best team in the East. And they're definitely not going to want to believe that they're perhaps just as good as the Warriors this year. So that's my take, guys. It's not just an emotional overreaction to winning the 12th game in a row. This team is only going to get better. You think the Warriors are going to improve more over the course of the year than the Celtics? They're already old. They're already in their prime, their absolute prime, if not slightly past their athletic prime. Celtics, on the other hand, all these guys are just going to get better and better and better and better. If you think Jason Tatum's good now, guys, if you think Jalen Brown is good now, if you think uh, Marcus Smart is good now, Terry Rozier, even Shane Larkin, Shemi Ojale, Guys, we are just going to get better and better and better. We are as good as anybody, and uh, I'm sticking to that. And uh, I can't wait to play the Warriors and show all these LeBron sexuals and all these Curry Curry files uh, what the real deal is because the Celtics are very much the real deal, as talented as anybody. And uh, talk to the record. Point to the score to make your point because uh, Celtics are good as anybody. Guys, let me know what you think. I'll see you soon. Peace.